Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. How was your day today? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, okay, I don't, I don't know what's happened. Um, let's ignore that. If you want to be notified of the next video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Trust GXT101 gaming mouse. It's for PC and laptop and has a DPI of 600 to 4800 DPI. On Amazon you can get it for £10.99 and someone here has rated it one star which isn't too convincing but we'll have to find out for ourselves. So on the front here you've got the Trust branding. In the bottom here is the Trust GXT which is their gaming range logo and here we've got GAV, I'm not quite sure what that stands for, gaming something maybe and it says it's for PC and laptop and it's an optical mouse. Up here it shows that it's got a multicolour cycle so parts of it must light up. Here we've got 4800 DPI optical sensor, 6 responsive buttons and 1.8 meter of braided cable. So on the here it says on the top, hashtag building champions. So, on the side here you've got GAV optical mouse, so that's the model number here, GXT101 and a bit of a close-up image of the image of the mouse itself so on the back we've got the trust branding up here and on the description it says accurate 4800 dpi gaming mouse with six buttons illuminated logo in continuously changing colors so that is the multicolor light we've got speed select button which can range from 600 to 4800 dpi six responsive buttons ergonomic and comfortable design 1.8 meters of braided cable 125 hertz polling rate and up to 66 inches per second 16 g acceleration so if you know your mice then some of those technical specifications will come in handy the pictures on the left here show that it's got two easy axis side buttons and a speed select button so you can change the DPI setting from 600 to 4800. So down here on this tiny text the minimum requirements is a PC or a laptop with a USB port that's a standard size USB port and it's compatible with Windows 10, 8, 7 and Vista. On package contents it says it contains the gaming mouse and a user guide so pretty straightforward nothing too complicated. On the back here we've got an image of the mouse with a bit of a diagram Oh, so that image on the side there is demonstrating whereabouts the side buttons are on the mouse and here it says it's got an ergonomic and comfortable design and that is the part there which has the continuously changing colours. So I think that's everything on the box. I think these are just different languages, a barcode and it just says 2017 Trust so it's a new range. So let's go ahead and undo the box. I've actually forgotten that I zoomed in. <laughs> there we go. And then the other side. There we go. Cool. That unboxing knife is still coming. Very useful. So we'll go and open this flap here. And let's take a look inside. So in the packaging you have the mouse itself with the braided cable which is very nice, not just like the standard plastic or rubber cable, it's really nice good quality braided cable which should make it a little bit stronger, feels really good quality and then you've got the USB, standard USB on the end. Also in the box is this little label, you can stick that somewhere maybe in your laptop or something. So in the packaging here we'll take the mouse out of the plastic. And let's take a look at the mouse itself. So the cable seems relatively long, I think I remember it's 1.8 meters, something that is. So it's more than reasonable for plugging it into your computer if you have your desktop computer on the floor and you need just enough room to get it on the desk. But then it's not over the top if you want to use it with a laptop and plug it right in. So this cable is really nice braided cable, it's like a shoelace or something really nice and strong with a cool sort of a textured pattern on it but it feels really nice and sturdy which is really helpful if you want a product to last a long time 
So the mouse feels really comfortable in the hand, it's easy to move. The mouse buttons feel nice, they're not too easy to click, but then they're not too stiff either. A lot of mice I've used before have been, you need to put more sort of force on the actual mouse buttons. Some people might prefer that, but this is fairly nice and smooth. So the middle button, you can click it down and then you can do the normal scrolling. With the grip on the top of the scroll wheel, it allows you to scroll with more accuracy. I'm using the mouse right now in my summer car to see if it's functioning alright. Everything seems to be moving around fine. Can we wind up this? Yep, we wound up, <laughs> them up very well. Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Give me one of your finest beers. I'll be right, I'll just take a beer. <laughs> Yeah, so one thing I'm noticing that this mouse is very smooth to move. I've got it on a mouse pad or mouse mat or however you want to call it. Um, yeah, it seems to be really nice and smooth when you're moving it around. It's not all like all over the place. That's annoying. Him. Let's move out the way before we get run over. Obviously, clicking anything in game is easy. No problem. And. One of the main features of this mouse is the ability to change what is going on. Okay. Um, okay, okay. I don't I don't know what's happened. Um let's ignore that. On this mouse it has a DPI setting, so at the moment I'm not quite sure what it's on, but it's on something. And if I press it, suddenly the movement becomes a lot quicker and I'm guessing that's because the DPI setting is lower because you're getting less dots per inch yeah so this is the lowest DPI setting I'm guessing it doesn't tell you on the mouse itself you kind of just have to guess I've changed it again and now this one this, run, this seems really quick no this one must be the lowest DPI setting and then yeah this is the highest DPI setting so I'm moving the mouse quite a lot to turn round which some people might not like it might not be your sort of thing but what you do have to remember is that you're getting a lot more accuracy so whatever you're doing you can aim a lot easier for what you're doing obviously my summer car is not that sort of game but um, yeah you, you basically have a lot more control a lot more precision that's basically what I'm trying to say for me I like this setting the best This fits me the best but it's good how it gives you I think it's four different DPI settings so you really are spoiled for choice you don't have to get a mouse that does a certain amount of DPI this one it's just a little button on the mouse you don't have to control any software over it it's literally just a button which is just below the scroll wheel so it actually is really easy to control wow that is really that is really sensitive yeah I wouldn't want to use this mode some people might do but I'm moving my hand extremely slowly if I go and pick up this yeah I can just about but it's, it's Everything is, you have to actually think when you're picking things up because it's, mo the mouse is moving ever so quickly. But then this is like the complete opposite. Now I've turned it onto the highest DPI setting and now any movement is almost in slow motion. I'd say I'm not necessarily an expert on that sort of thing. All I do know is that DPI dots per inch, if you want more dots per inch then put it on a higher setting and it will be more precise if you want less DPI uh, setting then it will move a lot quicker and it won't be as precise but you might prefer um, not moving the mouse that much to achieve a lot of distance I would say so yeah that's basically it that's basically it but overall this mouse is really nice to use one thing that does take a bit of getting used to I'm not gonna lie is this scroll wheel. it's a little bit because it's like a textured one if you're used to like just a smooth scroll wheel but eventually you realize it's actually a really good idea it's like a it's like a, a foot not a footprint like the tread on your uh, uh, shoes or boots or something it just means that you've got a lot more grip if you're scrolling or whatever you're using the scroll before and you can still click it 
obviously. But yeah, A4, I just think it's a really nice mouse to use, especially in game. It's perfect for like desktop use as well, no matter what you want to use it for, just because it's called a gaming mouse, you might just want to use it for Photoshop. I've been using the mouse for Photoshop, I've been using it for obviously playing this game, I've been using it just for general Windows use, so yeah, I've basically been doing a bit of everything with this mouse. I can hear the uh, death music being played in the cafe, so I think I'll save. <laughs> Great news, I'm on Fiverr, so check out my gigs at fiverr.com forward slash James Whitworth. For more tech goodness, don't forget to follow me at TechBaffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Head over to techbaffle.com to get all the info you need. <laughs>